Hello water signs, welcome to your daily energy reading. This is going to be for Cancer, for Pisces, and for Scorpio signs. This will be a general message, so it will not resonate with everybody out there. Please do take what resonates, leave what does not. Check your own planetary placements. And if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, that information can be found in the detail box down below this video. All right, I will be starting today with Cancer, then we'll be going to Pisces, and then we'll be ending with Scorpio. The timestamp for these will be in the comments section down below this video. All right, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start your reading. Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your portion of the daily reading. Please do understand that this energy is general, and it could be your energy. It could be the person that you're most connected to, it could be a family member, a friend, a co-worker, a neighbor, a loved one, your spouse, your partner, your children. Again, take it as it resonates. I'm going to lay out the cards and then we'll get right into it. All right, we're getting the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Page of Wands, and oh, we have the World. Okay. Very interesting. Truth of the... Untold Truths of the Heart, we're getting pride, spiritual connection, and boundaries. Interesting energy. We are getting forgiving and learning. We are getting healing a family issue and career and finances. Could be an issue in your love life right now. Bear with me just a minute, guys. All right, we are getting communication is key. New Moon and Gemini. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. There we go. We are getting conclusions are within reach. Don't let pride get in your way. Full Moon and Leo. Motivation and stargazing. All right. So, my beautiful, beautiful Cancers. What I'm seeing taking place for you September 16th is there is a completion cycle here. Something's been very trying, very difficult, and that is ending. I feel like that is closing out or in the process of closing out. Spirit wants to let you know, know that things are finally coming to a conclusion. I see, I, I see, I see you get messages, passages, messages coming in. Um, it's going to be a full reciprocity. I feel like for some of you who have been waiting for this, this is going to be an offer of love. Or if opportunity for love to, to flow here. This is going to be a gift coming in. Very passionate, very quick, very, very wonderful messages that is equal. It's equal in balance. And I do see new love. Um, could be with a Leo. Um, I do feel like this is a spiritual connection. Soulmates, deep love, unity. Um, I do see you drawing your line though. No, drawing the line, boundaries. You are putting up boundaries with this person. This person could be very much in their ego. They could be arrogant. They could be stubborn. Um, I do see boundaries being drawn here. But healthy boundaries is what I'm getting. Okay, so we got career and finances, forgiving and learning, and healing families issues. So what I see is, you know, this has been a difficult cycle. You're healing a situation. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This could be you know, money issues affecting this relationship. Uh, this could be you could meet, meet this person or know this person through work. Um, for your as as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This is releasing your past and allowing it to hold you back, and you benefit. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, this is working on healing those family issues. Maybe that is where you're drawing the line. This may not even have to do. With this relationship, you could very well be drawing a line in some other aspect. I do know that you communicating, a communication is going to be the key that un unlocks everything here. Um, conclusions are within reach. So this is coming to a conclusion. Conclusions are happening. You're being told don't let pride get in the way here. In full moon in Leo. So... You know, this could invoke something within you and, you know, we could, we could, you know, want to resort, you know, fall into that, you know, ego issues, but, um, you're being told don't let your pride ruin this for you. 
All right, advice coming through for my cancers is stargazing and motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and start doing it. Um, this could be somebody that you met in the spring, something that came to you, inspiration, something that you were thinking about in the spring but you didn't take any action on. It's time. And stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself very focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. So yeah, step outside, stare at them stars, connect, connect in with the stars, your and allow your intuition to really, really take over because your intuition is what needs to be guiding you at this time is what I'm getting. All right, Cancer, that is all the messages for you for September 16th. So let me know in the comments down below if it resonated with you. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your portion of the reading. I do want to get one thing a little clear. This is a general message, so it's going to be very, very general. Take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. It could be one message could resonate, the next one could not. It could be one big message for, for the collective, for you, for all of it resonates pieces resonate. Again, this could be for you, for, for your person, for your friend, your relative, your loved one, your co-worker, your neighbor. It could be anybody in your energetic field. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and lay out the cards and then we'll get right into it. Okay, we're getting the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor. We're getting Unspoken, Apology, and Fantasy. Wow past life relationship, romantic feelings, religious factors, Ooh. time to take action, very close to achieving your goal, be bold and make the first move, wisdom and music. Okay. Pisces, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Emperor. When I take these two things into consideration, I feel like this is a twin flame, a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. Somebody, it could be Sagittarius, could be an Aries, could be a, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus, could have any of those in the chart, could be none of those. Okay, so I feel like somebody is the divine, the, um, the divine masculine is here with the emperor. I feel like this is my divine feminine with the pentacles the nurturer the lover the care and make sure that everybody's taken care of i feel like you guys have been in and out of each other's lives and i feel like you know there's there's been this sense of playboy playgirl energy here take it as it resonates but i feel like this has been unstable and in state and stability and, and, and coming and going i feel like there's a lot of daydreams and fairy tales you know and fantasy just a lot of fantasizing about each other there are lost words and regrets and disappointments within this relationship and somebody was wants to come forward and apologize whether that is you pisces or your person but somebody wants to come in maybe even give you some gifts but they're wanting to apologize they're wanting to make amends on the situation we are getting past life situation you have known each other before so this is definitely somebody that you know this is definitely a love reading too i can't even see this as anything i mean as a career or anything else this is definitely a love relationship your feelings are real and worth exploring your feelings between each other are very real very tangible that's just being a, that's a confirmation your love life is being influenced by your re religious path and spirit your religious upbringing and spiritual path this could be different cultures absolutely that's caused conflict and things but I'd like that. But I feel like this is more about that twin flame journey for most of you. Okay, so you're being, being guided to be bold. Make the first move. Plain and simple. Pisces, you're being guided to be bold and make the first move. You're very close to achieving your goal. If your goal is to get this person back, maybe you're the one that needs to come in with that apology. But now is the time to take action. You're being guided to take action. Move this from fantasy into reality. Okay, because we are getting from your, for your guidance here is wisdom. Have you ever been told that you are wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with the challenge. 
this is call on your inner wisdom your knowledge your experience like you have had many lifetimes with this person call on that energy within you meditate on it and we're getting music listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear music can lift your soul rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door okay so i'm going to put this out there for my pisces generally when i get this card after a reading a song will come to me if it does in the course of the reading i will definitely post it on my community page where i write messages where you can leave me messages i will definitely post it there so check that out on my channel because that's generally how it happens is i'll we'll start singing a song as i'm shuffling for the next reading so this is signs, synchronicities, messages coming through from your spirit guides, angels, and the divine for you. This is something, so if a music, a song resonates with you specifically, um, pay attention to the words because I guarantee you there's a message within it. All right, Pisces, that is all I have for you for the 16th of September, 2020. Please take it as it resonates. I'm also being told to say that if, the, if you come across Cross this reading and it's not the 16th of September 2020. It resonates. It was meant for you. All right. So otherwise, let me know in the comments down below if it resonated. If you have not yet done so, please hit that like, share, subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a Cassarian Soul family member. And as always, remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now. All right, my Scorpios, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios, this is your portion of the reading. Please do know that this message will be very, very general. So it will either resonate or it won't. It may come through as one big message, pieces, parts. Take it as it resonates. This could be for you, the person you're most connected to, a spouse, a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a sister, a brother, a cousin, an aunt, an uncle, a family member, a co-worker, a friend. A neighbor anyone in your energetic field that being stated I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the cards and then we'll get into it okay we're getting the four of cups the seven of swords temperance heart song better off purifying yeah free yourself release your ex heart-to-heart -heart conversations we're getting meditate, contemplate. It's time to release negativity. Dreams need a practical plan. Manifestation and wish, wish wisely. Okay. Well, Scorpio, this is not going to take long. The message is coming through very, very clearly here. So, um, basically, four of cups, seven of swords, temperance, Sagittarian energy. Can't be dealing with the Sagittarius, but Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus is here as well. All right, so I feel like somebody's coming in with an offer here. But I also see that you're not interested in it. I feel like this person has been deceived you, hurt you, tricked you, manipulated you, stole from you. You know, this is my cardiac. Somebody did something horrible. You're in the process of healing from it. Plain and simple. You're in the process of balance and healing. Um, I think you, um, follow, you're following your intuition. You're clearing your headspace. You're trying to heal and purify. You are, if you have not yet done this, you're being told to free yourself, release your ex, release that energy. And to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, there may be people that's not understanding what happened here. Communicate. Communicate. Have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss feelings, your feelings with, with this person and with people around you. You're being told to meditate and contemplate. Take a step back. Go within really connect with your inner self and release negativity time to release it scorpio release this person release the energy cleanse yourself and take practical steps towards you know achieving your goals your aspirations i see that you're trying to manifest be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life now write it down on a paper manifestation part one and you're being told to Wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Like this is totally all in alignment. Meditate and contemplate. Figure out what you truly want 
and how you want to take those steps forward. Release negative energies, heal and, and, and things that you need to heal, past persons, past situations, the things that still, you know, emotionally invoke a response out of you. It's time to release that. Release it. Because you have the ability to manifest what you want, but you have to take practical steps and be wise about what it is you're trying to manifest. Because we have to also clear this energy, cleanse this energy, because we what we think and how we feel versus what we want can be two different things. If we're wanting love, but we negatively think that we'll never have it, it'll be just more lies, more deceptions, more sneaking around, more trickery, guess what we're going to manifest? More deception, more lies, more trickery, more pain, more suffering. We have to get into a, a headspace that's clear and we can see with see forward. We can see with um, without the rose tinted glasses, but we can see with clarity what we truly want, how we truly want. And we have to think well of ourselves and be in that positive mind space and you can't fake it. So like this is what you're being guided to, to really meditate, contemplate, purify, heal, release that negativity so that you can take practical steps into manifesting your true heart's desire. What you already have the inner knowing, the intuition and the, and the telepathy. Like, I feel like you know this, your heart, your heart is singing its song. You just got to tune into it. All right, Scorpio, that is all the messages that are coming through for you for September 16th. 2020. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.